Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see one more type of prompt in prompt engineering. So in our previous sessions, we have seen different types of prompt engineering with the different examples. So in that we have seen zero short prompts, one short prompts and few short prompts. <coughs> in those cases, along with the instructions, we are giving some examples so that the A model will analyze the pattern of the given examples and it will generate the output in the same pattern. Now in today's session, we will see a one more type of prompt called role based prompts. So along with the instructions, we need to specify the role which AI model should be using, right. So this, uh, uh, the main aim of this role based prompts means it assigns a specific role to the AI model which helps it to generate the responses, right? So the AI model will be acting as that particular role and it will be generating the output. And by giving a role to the AI model, it generates the output more relevant and accurate. So based upon the role, so the, the model will be generating the very good results. And it also reduces the trail and error methods because the output will be refined or fine tuned in a different uh, trail and error methods, right? So that's why we are saying that uh, generative AI is a chat based interaction. And also it generates the domain specific outputs. So it makes the consistency of the text. So how we have to give this prompts means the syntax, we can start with these words act as the rule, okay? And followed by the instruction, right? So I'll explain you. Let us see a few examples here. First, I need to know the architecture, the transformer architecture. <coughs> Excuse me. So in the Gen AI, we have seen the types of generative AI models in that we have seen the transformer model, right? So where the chat GPT will be using the same model. I need to know the information. So I will start here with <coughs> act as AI expert. So I need to know the answer by the AI expert. Okay. So I am saying that imagine the chat GPT as a AI expert and now explain what transformer architecture mean in a simple terms. Okay, so before giving the instructions, we are saying what role it should act. Okay, now I'll get a few things. See, what is a transformer? Right, so I'll be getting the simple thing. And see, now I'll tell you, uh, let us take, uh, see, uh, explain about loops in C programming or a Python programming, whatever it may be, no issue. Python programming. So I'll be getting a lot of information here. See, it will generate everything. So what is a loop, a types of loops, example, output, okay, while loop, example, output, and also continue, break. And in Python, we can also use else in the loops. So that will also be kept. Now, See, if I want to teach the same concept in a class for the BTEC students, so I'll refine the prompt as act as computer teacher. Okay. Teaching in or teaching to engineering students. explain loops in python programming so i, I have uh, instead of giving the only instruction explain loops in python programming i am uh, giving one more role that acting the ai model as a computer teacher which teaches to the engineering students now we can get the information see topic loops so types of loops, some sort of refinement will be done here. 
okay see loop uh, control statements right so key points for engineering students right so with the help of instructions along with the instructions we are also giving some rule and one more example i'll give you act as a uh, youtube content key creator youtube content creator and explain loops in python programming let us see what uh, it comes with see opening scene so it was completely giving the script okay opening scene so what we have to do hi guys welcome back to the channel today we are diving into the python loops etc etc what is a loop okay and the types of loops see loop control tricks right quick tips for you and a closing scene you can observe the difference okay the, the concept will be the same but the way of presenting presenting will be different okay so while explaining the same thing in a for engineering students that will be different and uh, recording a video or demonstrating the loops in a youtube so that will be somewhat different okay so you, you can see i can also create a short youtube script with animations and examples five minutes video so we can also th this is called a trial and error method if you if you go with a yes automatically it will return a U, um, youtube script for a five minutes video right so hope you understood uh, along with the instructions we are also giving some sort of rule okay and see i, I just want to get a three uh, some tips to answer tell me about yourself because for every in any interview the first question will be the tell me about yourself i just want to know the tips for answering the question tell me about yourself so if i ask the same thing act as an interviewer so according to the interviewer point of view and give me tips to answer the question tell me about yourself and you can see see question tell me about yourself so we got some kind of information so it, it was giving also some tips to make it a strong okay example we are getting some example okay so like that uh, we need to give some role before asking the instruction so one more small example and i'll stop right so act as uh, social media expert and write a thank message thank you message thank you post for reaching 665k subscribers right now you can see it's a social media ready engaging thank you post for reaching 665 subscribers and i'm getting the complete script okay what to be delivered uh, that's a thank you message for reaching the milestone 665k subscribers right so definitely uh, without the role also we'll be getting the answers but if you specify that role definitely there will be some consistency maintained while generating the output and also the output will be relevant and accurate and consistent okay so if you want to uh, use these prompts don't forget to give the role obviously you will find the difference okay so uh, hope you understood this uh, role based prompts and uh, if you are having any queries regarding this feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much